Today's Mountain West Conference Championship game has the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors coming into Laramie to take on the Wyoming Cowboys. The Cowboys finished the regular season at 10-2 and 6-1 in conference play after the Week 14 victory over the Washington State Cougars 34-27. A look at the final regular season standings for the Mountain West Conference. The Cowboys currently have no players with significant injuries on this week's injury report. The national top 25 rankings going into this week's conference championship games. A look at the Heisman Trophy finalists. The Cowboys' individual season stats going into today's conference championship game.
this week's Conference Championship Games. And now, the Mountain West Conference Championship game as the 8-4 and four Hawaii Rainbow Warriors come into Laramie to take on the 10-2 and two Wyoming Cowboys. Welcome to what should be a fantastic close to the Mountain West football season. It's the battle for the trophy. We get to crown the champion of the Mountain West Conference here today. This is a surprising matchup. The proverbial David versus Goliath, a ranked versus an unranked team, an opportunity to spring a major upset and build a legacy. As we'll see the winners of three straight, the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors, taking on the 25th ranked team, the Wyoming Cowboys. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreit. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. Kickoff team out there getting ready, and this is it, the battle for the conference championship trophy. Return begins inside the 10. And he stopped at the 20, trying to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. Cowboys offense will have the football first here. And here he comes, the quarterback, all eyes on him. It's almost odd to say this about a quarterback, but he truly does. He's the echo of the coach and the connector of this offense. When everyone is hooked up to him, this team operates at maximum capacity, and that usually means their opposition is in trouble. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? A handoff to the back. We're gaining some breathing room now. Tackled at the 26. Great offenses are able to stay ahead of the chains, and runs like that on first down are exactly what I'm talking about. Now you have a lot that you can call here on this second down. Second down after that previous play. Looking to throw. It's Foboda. Catch is made along the sideline just before going out of bounds. And the runner steps out of bounds but does have enough yardage to pick up the first down. You call a quick out on third down. I think that tells you the confidence you have in a quarterback to be able to make that throw. And on top of that, what a little surprise the defense would give that kind of cushion to be able to give him room to pick up that first down. That run moves the ball across the 35. It's a good, solid game. Five or six yards. Love to see that from the running game. Second down after that run on the previous play. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up the throw. Snags a good throw. Take it down, but not before he makes the first down. Well, a lot of times when a quarterback sees man defense, he wants to get the ball out of his hands as quickly as possible. Put the ball in the hands of one of their best playmakers and hope that he can break a tackle or two on the outside and get a big play. Looking for a gap. It's Jones. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively, but what I've been always impressed with defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Quarterback looking to pass here on second down. Oh, downfield catch made on the left side. And the game just good enough for a first down. Great execution here by this offense against zone coverage with a curl route. Hit that last step in your drop. You see where you want to go with it. Put it right on his shoulder for a first down. One man at the backfield, and he'll get the football. Showed off a stiff arm and picked up a pretty good game. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Now it's second down here. The back in motion now. Offense will keep it on the ground here. And he'll get the first down yards before they finally bring him down. It was a nice job up front by the offensive line. We'll give the running back an assist for setting those blocks up before he's able to get downfield for the first down.
First and ten now for the offense. Back to pass. It's Boboda. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play. Brings up second down. Man, Chris, I don't know if that was a bad read by the quarterback or a bad route by the receiver. They got to get this cleaned up before the next time they go through the air. So after the incompletion, it's second down. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. There's a wide open receiver complete. The tackle is made. The offense is now set up with a first and goal from the eight. One thing we know for sure, I don't know as a play caller, you can make that call without a quarterback who can throw it with a big arm. He put that on a rope. First and goal, handoff. And he's finally tackled out at the two-yard line. A pretty good push up front here by this offense line to get some positive yards here. You wonder if they're going to be able to run it in or they're going to have to spread this defense out and try to find a one-on-one -on -one matchup to put the ball through the air for the touchdown. All right, it's second down and goal now for this offense. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. He's going to be brought down by that ferocious pass rush. Nice sack. It just looked like the quarterback was holding on to the ball a bit too long that time. Allowed the defense to be able to get the pressure, and they come up with a first sack of the game. Great job by the defense so far. It's third and goal from a long way out. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. Again, he's just trapped and sacked in the pocket. How about this defense? That is called bending but not breaking. Back-to-back -back sacks. What a great job of not giving in and giving up on this drive. Now they've got him to fourth down and goal. And the kick is good. Offense settles for three on the drive. It breaks the scoreless tie here, makes it 3-0. I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg. I'm surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense. They come away with three points on the drive, and now the kickoff team will boot it away. And he'll lead the kickoff right there. He'll start from the 25. The Rainbow Warriors offense makes their way onto the field for their first possession. All right, Kirk, let's take a quick look at the impact players for today's game and how they're going to affect the outcome. These are your leaders on the field and in the locker room. These are your go-to guys, not only when you need a play to be made, but also when you need somebody to rally your team. The completion makes it second down. Looking downfield, it's Shager. Caught quickly. They get him down pretty quickly, but it's a solid gain in that short throw. An important third down attempt for this offense. It's a draw play. Oh, look at the quick cut. It'll be enough for a first down brought down at the 43. And the Rainbow Warriors come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. And then first down right back to the running game. For the defense coordinator this week, all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. And the quarterback keeps it on the outside. They make the tackle there, but a penalty marker is on the field. Let's see what that's about. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Holding penalties can be the ultimate drive killer. We'll see if it stalls this one. Looking to pass here on second down. Couldn't find anybody open. He just has to throw it away. Incompletion sets up a third down now for this offense. And he drops back in the gun. Receiver makes the catch. The defense will wrap him up after a seven-yard gain. It'll bring up fourth down. They'll kick it away here. And here's the fair catch by the return. So Wyoming's offense comes back out onto the field. 
had to reluctantly settle for a field goal last time out. Really want to find the end zone here. That's caught. It's Brown. And he breaks the tackle on the way to a solid game there. Boy, a great slant by the receiver. What I love is the quarterback found the window that he wanted to make the accurate throw. Here comes a handoff. And he will be stuffed for no gain. It was an excellent effort by this defense just staying in their run fits, holding their own at the line of scrimmage, and then making a tackle. Offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get any yards at all. So the offense faces a third and manageable here from the 25-yard line. Back to pass. It's Foboda. And they get the completion. And he picks up the first down before they get him to the ground. Well, when you play zone defense on third down and you don't get pressure from your defensive line, you're going to give a quarterback a lot of time to be able to find an open receiver and eventually get the first down. Not surprised at all that they're able to convert. Wyoming has the lead here. And at the end of the first quarter, let's check out the stats so far. So here we go, first play of the quarter. The offense has a first down. And here's the handoff. A gain of two yards, now it's second down and eight. Hey, it's a great job in this defense containing the running game. But if I'm calling the plays, I'm not abandoning the running game just yet. I think it's important to have some sense of balance. So throwing and running is essential. Stick with it. Here's a throw underneath to the tight end. Not easy to bring down. The cornerback finally gets the job done. And there's the tight end who shows off his hands. One of those critical third down plays coming up. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. Easy throw to a wide open receiver downfield. Brought down at the 46, good enough for a first down. You know who's got to love this offense picking up so many first downs? Their own defense. Man, when I played, I used to have defensive guys come down and tell me when we'd have a long drive, how much it would allow them to rest and go out and play dominant football. The drive stays alive with that first down completion. Looking downfield, it's Foboda. Oh, a sack. The senior on this defense making a big play. That's a really nice job of bouncing back by this defense after giving up that big gain. This time they get the pressure and bring that quarterback down. This pass rush has been a problem. Another sack sets up second and long. Here's the snap, looking to throw. Makes a quick catch. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. These undersized slot receivers can be some of the toughest guys to contain for a defense. They're quicker than they really are fast, and they're very elusive, tough to contain in these one-on-one -on -one matchups. Bringing pressure. Oh, it's incomplete. That's a good job of the defender to break that up. And here comes the punter onto the field. Not a very good boot. Sets up the offense in great field position. 
Here comes the Hawaii offense back out there. They were forced to punt last time. Can they get this offense going finally? Get some points out of this possession. And the runner brought down, but looks like there's a flag on the field. Let's see what this is about. Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. First down here for this offense. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. Quick throw complete to the tight end. Defense reacts quickly. A very short gain on the play. Pass caught. Second down now. And the single back takes the handoff. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. Falls incomplete, broken up by the defender nicely that time. The Rainbow Warriors will bring their punt team onto the field. We're going to kick it away for the second time. And the return man decides to signal. So Wyoming's offense comes back out onto the field. They're looking to build on the lead. They had to punt the football in their last possession. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. They get the senior with the ground, but it's a nice run there. Just a great play by the running back here. Finding his lanes and then exploding through the gap when it opened up. See what the call is on first and ten. And the tailback's got it again. And we're able to tackle the ball carrier there. Well, that's an excellent effort here by this defense, staying in their run fits. they holding their own at the line and making the tackle. The offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get anything going there. Second down play coming up. Dropping back, it's Foboda. It's a short completion of the big tight end. They bring him down quickly, a short pitch and catch to get a little bit closer to the marker. Boy, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. In the third and short, they'll try to throw for it. Oh, the pass is picked off. Going the other way, can they stop him? He's past the 30. Crosses the 10. Takes the pick to the end zone. Touchdown, Hawaii. And a pick six. A monster play by this defense here, Kurt. That defender showed a lot of athletic ability there with the ball in his hands. I wouldn't be surprised if the head coach watching that thought about maybe giving him some reps as a returner after that touchdown. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. Extra point makes the lead four. Now they get set to kick it away. And the kickoff will be a return. Tackled at the 22. So Wyoming's offense comes back out onto the field. They're trying to recover from that last possession. They had things going, but then a pick six, a devastating play. They got to recover from that right now. They'll tackle him at the 27. Hey, nice RPO here by the offense. Defense is going to sit back, make it easy on the quarterback, hand it off up the middle. Nice solid game. Stay ahead of the chains. To the air, it's Voboda. Running out of time in the pocket. And the junior gets home, making a sack there. I can't believe the amount of pressure this defense is getting on this quarterback. Sack after sack. Boy, you've got to think about changing things up. The snap count, the scheme, anything at all to help this offensive line. They're overmatched so far in this game. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. 
Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Caught way downfield for a huge game. Oh, and he breaks free. It's a foot race. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Cowboys. This guy can do it all. We've seen him go behind coverage and make plays downfield. We can see him catch the ball underneath, just like this. And when he catches a football, he is so dangerous after the catch. This one leads him into the end zone for the six points. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. PAT is good, so the score is 10 7 now. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. And here's the return from inside the five. They'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Hawaii offense comes back out on the field now. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? Ball we'll handed off. Breaks free now into the secondary. And he's brought down, but there is a flag on the field. So let's check this call. Illegal block on the back. Offense. And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. Looking to pass. It's Shager. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. Quarterback drops back. It's caught downfield. They bring him down at the 45 at a solid gain to keep this drive going. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. He's got a man down the middle. Big gain across midfield all the way down to the 34-yard line. And the Rainbow Warriors come to the line in the hurry up. How about the arm strength from this quarterback? He really didn't have any other option than to put it right in there and give it everything that he had. Great timing and a good job of squeezing that in between the defenders. Tackled quickly after the catch, he'll be short of the marker. That's the two-minute warning here before halftime as the offense tries to cut into this lead. Pass complete on a crosser. They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. The Rainbow Warriors begin a new series here, first and ten. From inside the red zone, they're looking to throw. The pocket breaking down. Just throws it away, but takes a big hit in the process. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Launching one to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Rainbow Warriors. Boy, the quarterback put that ball right where he could give his receiver a chance, and what an effort by that receiver to lay out and come up with that touchdown. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The extra point is good, so it's 14-10 now. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. Returner looking to make a play here. And the returner brought down by the... So Wyoming's offense comes back out onto the field. If they want to cut into this lead before halftime, they have to work quickly now. First play of the drive, they're going to throw the football. Pass incomplete, very nearly intercepted that time. Pretty nice catch here, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, but hands, sometimes a little questionable, as we saw here. They pressure him and get him the loss back to the seven-yard line. Timeout called by the defense, their first of the half, as they try to make some adjustments here. I mean, that's another sack, Chris. I mean, we're just getting started here. First half, and you're already talking about giving up three sacks. 
got to think about changing things up schematically, help that offensive line, and help that poor quarterback before he gets killed. He hands it off from the gun. Defense able to stop it. It's fourth down now. And now the defense decides to spend a timeout to regroup a bit. The punt team making their way on the field. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. And on fourth down, the punter sends it away. Oh, and he's got some space here. The Rainbow's offense back on the field now. Trying to build on this lead before halftime. They got off to a slow start, but they've gotten it going here in the second quarter. First play of the drive, they come out throwing. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. An explosive play moves the ball across midfield. They'll spot it at the 38. Looking to throw, it's Shager. But they don't make the connection. That one is incomplete. Here's the second down play. And he's back to throw again after that incompletion on first down. And it's the senior getting home with the sack. This is good pressure by the defense, but it just felt like the quarterback was holding on to the ball a little bit too long, which allowed the defense to get home. And sack sets up an important third down. Now the handoff. A change of direction. Defense stops him short of the marker. So now it's fourth down. And he puts it out of bounds, so no return. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Thanks, Chris. We figured we might get a Mountain West championship that would have social media buzzing. And through two quarters of football, indeed, that is the case. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. And with that, let's send it back. And Kirk and the conclusion of the Mountain West Championship. And the Rainbow Warriors will kick it deep to begin the second half. And they'll just take a knee. Drive will start at the 25-yard line.
first play of the drive now from the 25. Catch hauled in here over the middle. They stop him out at the 42. That's a solid gain getting closer to midfield. So one play moves the ball to the 42-yard line. It'll be first down. To the air, it's Shager. Goes to his right side there for the completion. And a nice first down game there. They get him down, but very close to the first down marker. Second down, we're going to throw it. And he's got his man open downfield. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. The Rainbow Warriors come to the line to set a fresh set of downs. There's the handoff. And the tackle is made after a four-yard game, so second and six. Off the play fake, looking to throw the football. Let's it go quickly. And he finds a wide-open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. Touchdown, Hawaii. Strong game by this quarterback. How important was that touchdown, Kirk? It's now a two-possession game here in the second half. It's a great job of this offense with their execution and having situational awareness here in the second half. They now have, as you said, Chris, this two-possession lead. they got a great chance to finish it off and get a win. See if they can convert the point after. Extra point makes the lead 11. Getting set to kick the ball off now. And he'll bring it out from inside the 10. Gets it to the 25-yard line. So Wyoming's offense goes back out onto the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. Here's the handoff. What a move, breaking ankles and still going. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound, and it's really solid defense on that play. Scanning the field, it's Foboda. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. The defense spreads all over the field playing zone, trying to make this quarterback make a mistake by throwing it into coverage. But he finds a soft spot on the curl and picks up a first down. Offense getting set. It's second down. And the quarterback dropping back. Looks over the middle, and that's complete. And the game just good enough for a first down. Chris, that's a great example of his arm strength. He just fired the ball in there much quicker than the defense could even react. So the ball placed right at midfield as the offense starts with a first and ten. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. And it's complete downfield. That's a big gain deep into plus territory. They'll spot it near the 30. It's an excellent throw by the quarterback, finding that window between the zones and delivering the ball on time. The offense really clicking against this embattled defense. Keeping it on the ground here. The tackle is made, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what that's about. Illegal block on the back. Offense. Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Dropping back. It's Foboda. Makes a quick grab. Tackled, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. 
Well, this is called settling down in his own defense, just kind of finding that soft spot. So not only does this tight end show that he's got great athletic ability and great size, here he shows that he understands coverage by sitting down in that hole, giving the quarterback a nice target, able to pick up that first down. He'll hand it off. Well, I'll take that every single time. Offensive line does a nice job up front. This backs vision and ability to get positive yards by lowering his pads on full display right there. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. There's the snap. And he's looking to throw. Makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Wyoming. Well, that's a thing of beauty right there. Good job all around. Offensive line gave the quarterback enough time. Quarterback puts it right on the money. And with this receiver running a route like this, makes it pretty simple. All you have to do is get his head turned around, catch that football. He's already in the end zone for the touchdown. The coach deciding to go for two here to cut the margin to three points. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. And it's picked off in the end zone. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. Looks like he'll try to make a play with the return. And he stopped with the 18. Returner trying to make a play, but a touchback would have been a better idea. And the Hawaii offense comes back out on the field now. Great possession last time. They punch it into the end zone. Can the defense come up with a stop this time? Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. After the first down loss, it's second and long in the 17. Back to throw. It's Shager. He'll take a deep shot here. Tried to press the ball deep, but it's incomplete. Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? Fires it to the wideout. Catch made down the left side, an explosive play. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the quarterback makes them pay for it. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. They get him down, but the game moves the ball to the plus 40. And the Rainbow Warriors looking to run some tempo here. Well, this is why running the football is so important. You run the ball, and then you go play action. It affects the eyes of the safeties and linebackers and frees up some space for the tight end to be able to pick up a nice game. Offense getting set. Second down play here. After being completion on first down, looking to throw it again. Chris, I thought he had his hands on that football. I thought he was going to come down with it. But give the defense all the credit with a big hit to knock that ball loose. They call the draw play here. Great cut there. And he's brought down, but there is a flag on the field. Let's check out this call. Hold, 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 hold. So the offense will decline the penalty and just take the result of that play. Fourth down. He's throwing for it. Finds this receiver. That's enough for the first down. Game moves it to the 24. That's a fresh set of downs. The Rainbow Warriors lining up here on first and ten. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Pass caught. Can he get in? The offense sets up in scoring position with a new set of downs. Back to throw. It's Shager. He's got it right near the end zone. And he scores. Touchdown, Rainbow Warriors. Methodical but effective, for Probably one of the most impressive drives we've seen in a conference championship game. Hey, I have to agree with you. Long drives like that are like a great painting. Slowly layering all the intricate facets until you have a masterpiece completed. That drive was put together in the same fashion. Just masterful execution on that drive. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. 
Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. He's got it inside the 15. Not much on the return. They'll stop him at 24. And your Wyoming Cowboys will take over first and 10. So Wyoming's offense comes back out onto the field. They were clicking last time. Great protection. The pitch and catch was solid. Right down for a touchdown. And that's incomplete. Even on a first down pass attempt, he felt heavy pressure. I mean, this defense is having their way with this offensive line. That poor quarterback doesn't have a chance. Every time he drops back to throw, he's getting ear holed. You better make some adjustments up front to give your poor quarterback a chance. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. But this one is broken up, ball's incomplete. It's pretty simple as a defensive coordinator. When the quarterback drops back to throw, if we get pressure on him, we got a chance to slow him down and win the football game. If we don't, it could be a long afternoon. Good job here by dialing up the pressure. Third down. This offense could really use a conversion here, down multiple scores. He's got it for a big game. That game is good enough for a first down. Ball spotted at the 42. This is a big conversion by this offense. They're down now in the second half. Probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. Nothing better than an offense on first down to be able to pick up big, positive yards like that. You can either keep giving it to the back, or it can set up play action and get the defense to come up to the line of scrimmage, and you can throw it over top of it. On first and ten, looking to throw. It is intercepted! Brought down after a short return, but the pick sets up the offense at the 39. Boy, would this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half. And the defense comes up with a big turnover that could be the nail in the coffin. This should be the last play of the quarter. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. And that pass is no good. Incomplete to wrap up play here in the third quarter. Well, Kirk Hawaii has the lead here. Sitting in pretty good position as we wrap up the third quarter. Let's check out the game stats so far. One quarter to go. Let's see if this sets up as a classic finish. So, second down after the incompletion. Scanning the field. It's Shager. Finds a man to the left. Big catch downfield. Brought down quickly, but it's a big game through the air. Spot the ball at the 45. First down, looking to throw the ball. He's running out of time here. And the senior making a disruptive impact play. Nothing is more gratifying for a defense to be able to sit back and play zone and still get pressure on the quarterback with your defensive front. That sack sets up a second down and very long. From the gun, he looks for an open man. Here's a wide open receiver complete. Potentially a touchdown saving tackle, but not before a long completion. I mean, Chris, look at this guy. I mean, you talk about having a great day throwing the football and leading his team to a nice, comfortable lead late in the game, and it continues. The coach is showing confidence of what he can do. And looking to throw now on first down. Makes the catch. Can he get in? Tackle made at the one-yard line, but it'll be first and goal. I just continue to be in awe of this offense. Even with the lead, these guys are going to play for 60 minutes. They do not let up. Here they are. And it's caught. Touchdown, Hawaii. Conference championship on the line. This quarterback told us, this is my time to shine. This is my stage, Kirk, and he is delivering. Well, anytime you see a performance like this out of a quarterback, it's like the stars are in alignment. The quarterback's doing his job. The play caller is seeing the defense and putting him in a position to have success. And let's not forget the line and the receivers, the job that they're doing as well. It's a dream performance so far by this quarterback. 
And that completion, Kirk, puts him over 300 yards passing today. Yeah, anytime a quarterback has a day like this, really it all has to come together with the offensive line play, the receivers running these great routes, and he's just in sync. He's kind of in that zone right now, and he'll be the first one to tell you how much his teammates have helped him out today. And it comes out of the So Wyoming's offense comes back out onto the field. The last possession ended in an interception. Let's see if they continue to trust this quarterback in the passing game. Catch made on the left side. I really like what this defensive coordinator is doing right now. He's got a nice lead to sit back. The most important thing is tackling this offense inbounds so that clock will keep ticking. Dropping back, it's Foboda. Quick throw, testing the middle. That one falls incomplete. Looking for a flag, doesn't get it. Brings up third down. I, I really feel that this quarterback is rattled at this point. He's already been sacked a number of times. I think it's affecting his timing with his receivers. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Easy throw to a wide open receiver downfield. Big play across midfield. Now they're threatening at the opponent's 38. Really good job here of converting by this offense. And let's face it, at this point in the game, because they have such a big hole to climb out of, they've got to be able to convert and come up with a new set of downs. They do it here. Now they got a real shot to cut into this lead. Big chunk play. This offense operating at peak efficiency. Looking to throw it again. Catch made on the left side. Well, this wide receiver has it all. We know about his leaping ability and his speed. But what I've seen today is the precise route running. Another example of it there, and the timing with this quarterback and this receiver is just a thing of beauty. They look to throw it here on second down. It's a quick grab. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. Man, and with that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. A chance to get right back into this football game. It's first down and goal. Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. Intercepted in the end zone. Not much on the return, but they create the turnover. Well, that interception really about cost them the game here. And I understand, you got to do everything you can to get back in it, down by a couple scores. But the interception, for the most part, seals the deal for the defense. The Rainbow's offense back on the field now. They've really built momentum in this game. They've been hard to stop. Can the defense make some adjustments, come up with a stop here? That game moves the ball out near the 25. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. They'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he's brought down, but there is a penalty marker out there. Let's check out this call. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. That stings for the offense. Penalty will cost him 10 yards. Important second down play coming up. It's a run. Running back's got it. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive. Here's a fumble way behind the line of scrimmage. Now the defense has got it going the other way. Touchdown, Cowboys. And the defense joins the party with a score. That is any defender's dream. Comes up with a fumble, takes it back to the house. I can't believe the speed that this guy has to be able to score. I thought maybe he'd pick it up, maybe go a few yards, but instead he took it all the way to the end zone. And now they'll set up for the point after. And he knocks it right through. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. They'll return it from inside the 10-yard line. And the coverage team brings him down at the 26. Here comes the Hawaii offense back out there. 
Look him out throwing here to start the drive. Over the middle and incomplete. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Dropping back. It's Shager. The pass rush closing in. It's incomplete. He took a hit as he threw the football, and it brings up a third down. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. And it'll be smothered right at the line for no gain. And the Rainbow Warriors will send the punt team onto the field. On the return, it's King. And they've got the returner. So Wyoming's offense comes back out onto the field. They had it going on the last drive, but it ended abruptly with the interception. Let's see what they can do here. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. They bring him down, but the junior quarterback showing off the cannon. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. Dump off caught by the running back. Makes the defender miss. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Boy, another nice completion by this quarterback and one of his receivers. You know, if I'm right, you look at this quarterback in this game alone, he's now over 350 yards. What a game for him. The offense really clicking here. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. Snags the quick throw. Refusing to be brought down before gaining first down yardage. Hey, it's a nice game here, and they get the first down to stop the clock. But late in the game, trailing by a couple scores, these receivers have got to be thinking about getting out of bounds as often as they can to preserve that clock to give them a real shot to come back to win it. He's got it near the end zone. Four set of bounds after a nice game. The offense is knocking on the door with a first and goal. Hey, you're trailing late in a game like this. You're looking to get the ball thrown to the outside on the perimeter, make a nice catch, pick up positive yards, and then get out of bounds. If that defense is going to give it to you, take it every time. Keep it on the ground, trying to power in for the touchdown. Muscles across the goal line. Touchdown, Wyoming. This will be fun. Strange things happen. The conference championship trophy is on the line. One possession game, fourth quarter. Who's going to step up? So here's the deal. Your defense just gave up a touchdown. Now all of a sudden, we got a game. What will your offense do to be able to secure a victory? You want to win it? And now the try here for the extra point. PAT is good. They still trail, though. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Hawaii offense comes back out on the field now. They're trying to build on their lead. They were forced to punt on the last possession. First down, looking to throw the football. And he pulls in the catch. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. A new set of downs after that completion. Not able to connect, incomplete. Getting set, here's second down. Keep it on the ground to work the clock here. But a quick stop by the defense. He just two, so it's third and eight. So the clock stops as we head into the final two minutes of play here. This defense needing to step up and make a play now. But they don't connect. It's incomplete, and it brings up fourth down. The Rainbow Warriors will line up to boot it away. Bringing it back, it's King.
So Wyoming's offense goes back out onto the field. The last possession, they really had the passing game clicking, moving right down the field for a touchdown. And it's incomplete. He dropped the first down pass over the middle. What a hit there by the defender. Tough for the receiver to hold on to the football when he has that kind of contact. Good, clean play by the defense. Second down play coming up for this offense. To throw, it's Foboda. He'll be taken down. The defense rises up with a sack at a crucial moment. If I'm on this offensive line, man, I would not want to look at the game film after their performance today. It's almost like they've been moonwalking backwards the entire game, getting pushed all around by this defensive front. Chris, they've already given up six sacks alone in this game. A tough situation for the offense. Third and long from their 25. Let's see if the defense brings some heat here. And the quarterback drops back, looking for an open man. Big game. Catch made at the 30. Finally brought down at the 8-yard line. A huge play, and suddenly they're in great scoring position. Now that's what I call coming through for your team in a pressure situation. Great read. Got the ball where it needed to go, and now you're set up to get six. First and goal. Can the offense punch it in and claim the lead here in the fourth quarter? And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has a handoff. Ball carrier brought down at the four. Offense in great scoring position here. Chris, that's positive yards on first and goal, which is obviously good. But now we're at this point in the game, critical series. They've got to find a way to get the ball in the end zone. Coming up, second down and goal. Trying to flex the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. And the offense will spend a timeout, stopping the clock with 22 seconds remaining. What a great play by the defense here. Getting close to the goal line. Not only do they come up with a big stop, but they send them backwards in the process. Urgency here in the fourth quarter. They must cut into this lead. It's third down and goal. To throw, it's Boboda. Touchdown, Cowboys. To take the lead in the final minute. Here we go. They take the lead. What an amazing comeback by this team and this offense. Now it comes down to can their defense hold the lead with under a minute to go. And the offense will stay out there for a two-point try, trying to build the lead to three points. Offense looking to throw the ball. And it's incomplete. The try fails. They can't build their lead here in the final seconds. The kickoff team on the field now as they get set to send this one away. The turn begins inside the 10. They'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. But the offense here needs some big plays to give the kicker a chance here. The clock is a factor. First play of the drive. They're going to throw the football. Cut quickly. And the offense will spend a timeout, just 14 seconds left on the clock. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. Let's it fly out of the wide out. Oh, and he can't quite hold on. That would have sealed the victory. Does bring up third down. On third down, he drops to throw. Looks left and finds his target there. Now a late timeout is taken. Six seconds showing on the clock. Needs a completion here on fourth down. He's got it, and that is enough for a first down. And he'll head out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for a first down. 
Looking to throw it on first down. Time is running out. They'll take a deep shot. And the pass is incomplete as time runs out. Game over. Talk about a perfect ending to a regular season, becoming champions of the Mountain West. They've made their case now. And with a conference championship in tow, it's going to come down to what the committee decides to do if they'll get an invite to the college football playoff. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herb Street, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.
the Cowboys are the 2024 Mountain West Conference champions. The Cowboys suffered no new significant injuries in today's game. The Cowboys have been invited to play in the New Mexico Bowl against the Florida International Panthers.